That's what the car looks like at the moment. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm currently on my way to Deuce in Hout Bay. They're having a like a pre-2005 German car meet. And I'm all about that pre-2005. So the wagon's actually an 03, which is yeah, it's an old car, so it's going to be older than that, but still, at least the wagon makes the cut. So, I'm on my way there now. I've got quite a busy day planned, but I think this video will be about the wagon's new wheels, which is quite exciting. So, I'm going to get them after this and then take them to Riyadh at International Rim Repair in Weiburg. So, yeah, I'm I'm going to show you guys around, take some pictures, maybe grab a coffee, we'll see how it goes. I was so tempted to pull the wagon in when it said German cars only. And that's about it. So I'm just gonna walk it out take some pictures. But yeah, it's a cool vibe. Been wanting to come to one of these for a long time. So yeah, this is what I got. They are 18 by 8 fronts and 18 by 9 rears BBS LM replicas only the best for the wagon um, yeah nips nips will do um, so what I want to do is they're not they're not the cleanest at the moment so I mean it's not great you see there's some like corrosion and so I just want to have the lips polished uh, just so that the wheels look half decent yeah so I'm gonna take it to Riyadh now and I should be able to get it in the next few days so I just got to International Rim Repair now see the logo over there um, yeah so it's Saturday and they don't work on a Saturday but Riyadh said you'll get the wheels from me now so that it's easier I don't have to come during the week one eternity later. That's it, dude. I don't understand why people would do this. Why would you come into my lane and drive slower than me? Guys, I, I don't understand. Like, this just grates my gears. And he couldn't be bothered. Having a fat conversation. Anyway. It is new wheel day, so I'm on my way to International Rim Repair now. So the wheels have been, the lips have been polished and they've been straightened. So Riyadh let me know in the week that all four wheels are buckled. And he said it wasn't too bad, but I thought I'd just get it done because, yeah, like if he has the wheels, I might as well do it. So I'm going over to him now to collect it. Then I'm going to Shabbat to collect the tires. And then I'll mount it and see what it looks like. I really hope it doesn't look stupid. I really hope so. So yeah, let's, let's see what this looks like. So the lips are shinier. 
should look look half decent. So I got these Radar 215 4018s. They quite cheap, um, but I just I couldn't justify spending like 10k on four tires. It's a really annoying beep in here, but. That's what the car looks like at the moment. So I just went around the car with the tape measure to get the height on all four corners. So the car is around 61. Like it's unequal on all four corners. It's like 62, 61, 60, 61 um, centimeters. So once I put the 18s and then I'll see what the height is and then hopefully it raises the car. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted for, some more ground clearance and so that it looks a bit lower. So let's see if that actually happens. So this is like the worst wheel. So you can see that it's tarnished like around the, the studs. But the others are all decent. Luckily, this is a rear, so it's not too bad. So I just wanted to see what the difference in height between the two wheels is. And it's almost nothing. Like that 18 is a touch taller. So yeah, there's not much of a difference because of this tire. So that's a 9J and an 8 and a half J. So the rears needed to be blasted on. So that's what it looks like. The rears has four wheels, so it's a lot lower. This is the sort of height that I would like it to be at. So I need to lower the car all around. I don't know how I'm going to be able to live with it, but we'll see. I'll adjust it a bit later. But the front definitely needs to come down. This rear wheel is sitting in really nicely. But that's because we fully loaded. So first impressions after after just pulling it out and driving it. Um, the car feels taller, and yeah, it's rolling fine. It feels decent uh, because the tire profile is it's like there's enough tire, so it doesn't feel hard or anything like a, a 30 would have but yeah I'm gonna go home now clean the wheels and take the tires out the back the wheels and tires out the back lower the front and then see how I like it from there uh, a bit of a spanner in the works here the rain yeah so hopefully it stops soon so I can adjust the car and wrap this video up. I bought this wheel cleaner the other day on Take A Lot. Not badly priced. Um, and I, it's the first time I'm testing it. So it does like a cleans off the iron and things. So I'll let you know if it's any good. So the wheels are on and I've lowered it in the front. I really like it. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you prefer these or the previous wheels? Yeah, I, I dig it. I dropped the front, I think about one centimeter. Just to have a bit of a rake. So there is, it's like 
no real wheel gap I could turn it down a little bit more so this is what the fitment is like is enough clearance in the rear I can run a spacer because yeah there's, there's quite a bit of room for activities is about could get like a 15 more spacer in there but yeah I am I am happy so I just came out here to take pictures of the wagon quickly uh, it's quite overcast so I was hoping to get like a decent sunset but is what it is um, I'm shooting with a 200 mm lens that I usually don't shoot to the zoom but I thought I would try it out and just see if I like it so I'll insert those pictures here now So, just got some pictures here, nice mountain in the background. Since we last caught up, I actually wanted to change the wheel caps from the red to black, but the only thing I got and I wanted doing was changing the, the bolts so brief. So I had a set of um, stock bolts, but there was, I was missing a few. So I actually bought a full set of Mark V bolts with the OE VW caps in it. So I had that replaced over the weekend when it was raining. I just got that in. I wanted to test fit some spacers. Like I think a, a 10 or 15 mil will look, will look good. Um, in front probably like a 15 mil maybe something like that the wheels turn at the moment but I think that will fill it out nicely but yeah I like I like the look of it it's just something different so I'll be going through a couple of sets of 18s from here on out so I've switched to a to a lens that I'm more familiar with I haven't shot with that often but I'm shooting with a with a 50 at the moment shooting with the shooting with the zoom is quite intense like I had to go quite far away just to get the car in frame yeah shooting with a 200 is quite quite intense I don't know if I like it so I'll insert those pictures here now let me know what you think And then I will put in some pictures of the 50 mil and then let me know what you prefer. Yeah, I think it's just it's just different to what I'm used to. But yeah, fun fun little outing to get some pictures. Yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.